Throughout our lives, most of us travel economy class. But just imagine that the kids have all gone off to college with full scholarships. The mortgage is paid off and you've just hit the lottery for 10 million big ones. And now, it's less than a month before Christmas and you wanna buy that fantasy gift for you and your loved ones. What do you do? <laughs> ah, yes, you decide it's time for travel. First class, from this to this. It really does happen to millionaires who want everything they can possibly get and they know they're only going around once and they're going to go for it. Jack Leak gives them what they want. Oh, in exchange, these wealthy clients have returned a king's ransom in profits. We start right at 200,000 for a 38 footer and go on up a little bit over a million for a 63 footer. Jack Leak is chairman of Ocean Yachts in Egg Harbor, New Jersey. He founded the company 10 years ago with eight partners, 20 employees, and $200,000. They actually had to hock their house or get a second mortgage when they started, and today they're millionaires. The Leak family has been building boats in New Jersey for 12 generations, going back to before the Revolutionary War. At the turn of this century, they were building work boats, like these oyster boats that used to sail out of the Jersey rivers by the thousands. But then as the fishing business dried up, the leaks moved into pleasure boats. In 1977, Jack decided to become his own boss. Even though the country was reeling from a recession brought on by gas prices that were going sky high. Surely people wanted tiny cars, not big boats. Everybody, that is, but millionaires. My father used to tell me, you know, when things get tough, rich people don't have anything else to do except go fishing. <laughs> and it's always been true, as long as I can remember. So Leek set out to build the biggest, fastest fishing boat in the sea. And the rich folks bit the bait. And uh, us being the new kid on the block, we were able to come up with a new new design, new style, and uh, jump right in there and just cream everybody. Now they're making 130 yachts every year, which means having on hand a small warehouse full of yacht goodies, such as microwaves, televisions, and of course, refrigerators. Easy though, you don't want to put a hole in the hull. Of course, you're going nowhere without engines. These diesels run about $20,000 a unit, and each boat gets two. But Jack Leak's not afraid to order a bunch at a time. They're all sold. We just hit 40 million in sales, and we have about 180 people. Including his son, Ralph, who is vice president of marketing. We built a little different boat than a lot of the other manufacturers. We built a, a little sleeker boat and stylish boat, and one that has a little more flair to it. A uh, little faster boat, and we do a lot of things with the interiors of boat that attract the women. Well, 55-footer has dishwasher, trash compactor, microwave, range, laundry center with washer and dryer. It has three staterooms, three heads, a salon that has you know an L lounge and chairs. A TV, a stereo, and these brand new owners, Jan and Doug Allen from Charleston, South Carolina. Ralph is a knockout, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Doug Allen is a real estate developer who puts up condos, lots of condos. But until now, he's had to suffer with a boat that was big all right, and oh sure, that boat was new, you bet. But still, it was a boat that, well, let's admit it, wasn't completely his. I've owned uh, big boats before, but uh, uh, only one other new boat, and I uh, owned it with someone else, and this is really, I could say, the first big boat knew that I owned by myself. <laughs> kind of like owning at long last your own sandbox, complete with the cutest little ice maker up here in the flying bridge. Oh, here's the ice maker. Mm -hmm. 
Little things mean a lot on a big old yacht, and Jan is looking forward to keeping cool on a tropical winter vacation. Hopefully we're going to leave at Christmas time and go to the islands and spend um, probably two or three months off fishing. Now she's probably the best, more avid of the two fishermen. <laughs> so how well does this big new boat chase fish? Start the engine, cast off. Let's see how she does. traveling at 30 knots or nearly 35 miles an hour. A first class way to head south for the big fish. Champagne and caviar and tropical sunsets far away from the winds and the snow. Hmm, I wonder if Jack Leek has got a layaway plan for the lunch meat crowd. Like no money down, 50 years to pay. We run a, a cash business all the way. You either wire transfer the money or you come down here with a certified check. I mean, it's done, it's paid for. Oh, I was just asking. We wouldn't take credit cards by any chance, would you? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, just maybe, we could get Channel 6 to buy us a boat. Sure, why not? They've got Action News vans and Chopper 6. Why not Yacht 6? What a great Christmas present for primetime. Our own Navy. Hey, fellas, hold the boat. I'll be right back with a certified check. Fellas? Fellas? 